Dan, we start with you. Your initial reaction to now knowing that Derek Carr is a free agent. Two teams come to mind, the New York Jets and the Carolina Panthers. I'll remind everybody of two things. In 2021, Derek Carr midseason was an MVP candidate. And ask yourself this, when was the last time this league had a top 10, top 12 caliber player at that position that was a free agent? I just love the beauty of him being a free and clear free agent, Dio. Yeah. Like the opportunity to be courted, to make a decision based on where you think you can win right away, but also get compensated. Um, Derek Carr is a really good quarterback in this league. You can win with Derek Carr. I think you need pieces around him, but that's majority of the guys in this league. But very rarely, to your point, do guys get a chance to be free agents in this league. And the fact that he's a quarterback with success, phenomenal. And Derek Carr said, Las Vegas Raiders, you not about to get no picks from me. I'm going to walk into this thing where I'm free and clear, and I get the opportunity to vet these teams as they'll be vetting me. He's a top 15 talent at the position, probably higher, and now he'll get a chance to find a team that matches but also wants him to be on that team. I think this is great for Derek Carr. And timing is everything in life. No one likes to get fired, but worth noting that Derek Carr does not have to wait until the NFL's new league year begins in the middle of March. He is free to sign with the team right this second. So other quarterbacks that could be traded or free agents like Jimmy Garoppolo still have to wait a month. Mm. Derek Carr is a head start on the field. His courting process can begin immediately, Laura. Still, he gets yeah. that head start. It's also beneficial for whatever team picks him up, thanks to field. Let's talk a little bit more about Carr. He may not be a league MVP, but the veteran QB has been a model of consistency in recent seasons. In fact, in each of the last four seasons, Carr has ranked within the top 15 in total QBR. Only two other quarterbacks Quarterbacks can say that over that span. It's Patrick Mahomes and Dak Prescott. So he's in good company. We know what Derek Carr brings to the table. Obviously, Dan, plenty of great fits yeah. for Carr and his skill set, right? But which team should realistically be having the conversation? All right. So, uh, first of all, guy's a top 10, top 12 player at the position. He's a free agent. That's rarity in the NFL. Outskirts of the MVP conversation over the last couple of seasons, going back to 2018, 2019. I think nine teams, but I want to group them, okay? Tell me if you guys agree with this. Nine teams, I think, need to be in the conversation or having this conversation with Derek Carr. Indy Houston, Washington, New Orleans, Tampa Bay, and San Francisco are in one group. Having a conversation. Are we a playoff team with him? Can we afford him? All right? The next group, New the New York Jets, Carolina Panthers, and maybe Tennessee are – we're a playoff team with him, mm. and we can afford him, okay? Mm. Here's my issue with Indian Houston. One, they should go young. Washington uh, it makes a lot of sense, but I do see. they think he's the long-term answer? New Orleans and Tampa Bay can't afford him. I don't think there's any chance that they could have a good football team with Derek Carr. San Francisco, up in the air. Jets and Carolina are the two teams that I continue to go to and say they are a playoff football team. Now, Derek's going to be a free agent, so it's not just do they want Derek. Where does Derek want to go? Derek, where do you want to go? Where's the best place for you to not only win but advance your career? It's a no-brainer to me. It's the one New York Jets, two Carolina Panthers. Those are the two. Uh, RC, before you go, let me just jump in here really fast. It's important to note that Carr himself said he didn't want to go to the Saints, but it's because he didn't want to be traded there. Right. That doesn't mean he doesn't want to go there. He just wanted to get released so he could be a free agent so he would control all this conversation. Go ahead, RC. No, and that's why I think the Saints can still be a viable option for a Derek Carr. And we talked about it on the set when he was visiting the Saints, that they'd have to make some cap room. It's guys like Michael Thomas may have to go, and you have to rework some contracts. And we've seen the New Orleans Saints do that in the past. But this defense has been championship caliber for years. You have a young receiver on the outside in Chris Olave. You have good tight ends, obviously Alvin Kamara in the backfield. I think that this is a spot where he could thrive in a spot where people support you out side of the organization when you do well. It does seem that Derek Carr has, even when playing at an MVP, ca MVP caliber, a guy that's doubted as the position as a leader. He proved two years ago that he can lead in mm -hmm. any locker room, and I think he proved he's also proven that he's a great talent on the field. He will have his choice and have his pick, but he better pick right because I believe this is his last chance mm -hmm. as a starter to lead a playoff team. Yeah, I think I – think to your point, R.C. in New Orleans, things are a little bit more stable. Obviously, P. Carmichael there, Dennis Allen, and you walking into knowing what your offensive coordinator situation like. The only reason that I fear the New Orleans Saints just being candid is because of Mike, Mike Williams. I don't know if he's going to be available. Mm. 
I know Mike Tom, Evans. Michael Thomas. And, Michael, Michael Thomas. Michael Thomas, yeah. I'm sorry. Michael Thomas. I know yeah. Mike Evans and Chris Godwin have put in work, and I know Godwin had his ACL, but those guys seem like a more sure bet if you want to push the ball downfield. The Tampa Bay is starting over at the offensive coordinator spot as well, so Derek Carr might have some say in who that guy is at some point if, they, if he gets this done early enough. But it's to me, you got a number one receiver Hall of Famer that's been on the field putting in work, and you got one that you don't know if it's going to be available. And I understand what you're saying about Chris Olave, but at this current moment, I'm going to take Mike Evans and Chris Godwin See, and try to build around that group than I would yeah. with the skill position group in New Orleans. See, fellas, I, I agree with I, I get where you guys are coming from, but here, here's my pushback on the New Orleans and Tampa Bay. They're both 55 million yeah. over the cap. Mm. So Dan, you know I don't subscribe. But to here's that. my thing, fella. Here's my thing. If you're Derek Carr, before you even give me a dollar, you're 55 million over the cap. What kind of team are we going to have around me that makes mm -hmm. this worth my time, worth my yeah. trip? Because if we're going to say, well, they could kick that down the road, Dan, their car's going to be a part of that kick down the road more than likely. You know what I'm saying? Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.